Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest went from a life of crime to becoming a successful businessman in real estate and entertainment. <laughs> wow, we all know who he is, but he has become a prison reform activist and is inspiring youth to not follow in his early footsteps. In his newest book, Riding with Rick, The 21 <laughs> Keys to Success, he shares his secrets to help you reach your ultimate goals. Please welcome to the show, the real freeway, Rick Ross. Yes! yes. <laughs> well, hello, it's so happy, we're so happy to have you yes, on the show. I must be in heaven today. You must be in heaven. Let me pinch myself. Oh, you're pinching yourself. <laughs> All right, so as part of your story, uh, you we're big time street pharmacists, but you, changed your life, but let's go back to the beginning. Tennis, you were a tennis player and it played such an integral role in who you are as a man today. It Talk did. a little bit it about did. that. It did, without, without tennis, I probably would have been a gangbanger, mm -hmm. uh, more than likely a Hoover Crip. And my friends that I grew up with, matter of fact, one just got out, went to prison when he was like 17, he did 35 years oh, wow. for some senseless uh, crimes. And mm. tennis pulled me out of the neighborhood and put me in a different environment. Yeah. Mm, wow. And so af after which, you eventually found yourself uh, in the prison system, and at 28, you taught yourself how to read, yeah. and you found a loophole in the system, and you got out of a life sentence with learning, very little help from an attorney. Is that true? Read, learning how to read has been so good to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I didn't know when I was growing up that any thing that had ever took place, somebody wrote about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then all you had to do was pick up the book and follow that road map and it would lead you to success that that person had got if you follow the same uh, recipe. So yeah. uh, once I learned that, what I did basically is I started to form my life. You know, I said, okay, Rick, before in life you were letting other people, the neighborhood, mm -hmm. the big homies was dictating to you who you should become. Mm -hmm. But now, you a conscious man, yes. and you can dictate who you want to be. So yes. I just pick, you know, I mean, I look up and I see something, and I just say, oh, do that today. Yes. And I just go do it. And, and then, then that's the, uh, that's, uh, the uh, essence of living in your now, which I've continued to talk about. But I, I got to go back again. When you were, you know, in the life, you made upwards of $3 million a day, mm. a well, billion dollars annually. Well, you know, I'm kind of considered in the drug world a genius, mm -hmm. a drug genius, which I don't think that it was genius. I just found some principles and, and rules and I applied them to my life and I had great success. You know, I started with $125 and I had days I made as much as $3 million. Right, but then mm. now in retrospect, talk about the importance of, of making an honest living for people who are watching now. And well, maybe well, you know, right now, uh, I'm living my best life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean, right. you know, I'm traveling around the country. Uh, I spoke at colleges where I've gotten as much as five thousand mm -hmm. dollars for five, I mean for forty-five minutes of speeches. Uh, I'm getting ready to shoot a motion picture with Reginald Hutland. Oh, good. In my good opinion, the smartest black man in Hollywood. And <laughs> my man Kush, uh -huh. the, the script doctor, who I've been working with for about four weeks now. I mean, they have gave my story some some insight yes. and uh, uh, levels that I didn't even know could come out. So uh, my new book is out, Riding with Rick, uh, with Cody Crutch. I mean, I'm. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I, I, just, I, I, I try to be humble, but you know, yes. my documentary been on Netflix for a year straight. Mm, yes. Number one documentary on Netflix. I dreamed that up while I was in prison. Wow. Somebody with no background in film at all, and here I am now, was nominated for an Emmy Award, but yes, they, they uh, took all my credits off, but I don't care about the credits. Mm -hmm. They because said, okay, the, story. the yeah. networks don't want to play it because they saying, how can you produce your own story? People do it all the time. Yeah. They yeah. do it all the time. Yes, absolutely. But but e even with that, like, can we talk just briefly about your mindset from then till now? Like, started from the bottom, now I'm here kind of <laughs> thing. <laughs> well, you know, I still got the same mindset. I'm mm. going to be honest with you. The only thing that I had to take out was the drugs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, all the only thing I did wrong with what I was doing was I, I, I put drugs in the mix because I thought uh, uh, that drug was my identity because mm -hmm. I watched a movie and, and I started to want to act out. Like a lot of our young people right now. Absolutely. They hear rappers rapping about killings and, and homicides and then they go out on the street and they try this stuff thinking that they're going to get out of it the same way that these guys got right. out of it when right. these guys never really done that. Right. And I was a victim of that. You know, when I saw Superfly for the first time, I wanted to be Superfly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in your book, what do you want people to take from your book? Well, we, we wrote this book. This book wasn't planned. 
was not a plan writing. Uh, uh, it was a guy named Cody Crutcher. He had wrote me when I was in prison. He's like, man, I want to do a, put you on the front cover of my front cover of my magazine. Uh, so we did it. And then he said, when I got ready to leave, he didn't want me to go. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm on parole. I got to go back to L.A. He was in New York. So he said, well, can I come hang out with you for six months? And he did. And uh, we went to some of the biggest meetings. I met some of the guys in Hollywood that, I mean, if you see some on TV, they did it. Mm -hmm. um, and Coley was documenting these meetings that I was able to take. And he wrote down how I handled these meetings and how I was even able to get in there. Because, you know, right. most people like... Can't even, you know, they're not even uh, invited inside the door. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. he documented all of that. And I'm hoping that people will read this book. Uh, along with my first book, too. You know my first book. I'm mm -hmm. a best-selling author, too. Oh, you love it. Yes. <laughs> you love, love it, love it, love it. Hey, well, you know, speaking of truth, you're, you're working on music as well? Yeah, I got I got artists. Uh, right now, we got Naku who's coming out. Oh, uh, nice. He's hot. We've been in Atlanta. He's performed probably about 10 clubs since we've been out here this weekend. Wow, that's nice. Uh, we've been just around the city, you know, just selling the book and performing right. and having a good time and, and, and spreading the cheers, you know. Uh, one of the things that I feel that we need as a people is we need to come together more. Yes, oh, you and are celebrate each other. Yes, and we celebrate like we're celebrating, we're celebrating you now. and how you change right things around. Now. Absolutely. Oh Love my it. gosh, you are truly an inspiration. Yes, and you know what? Thank you for joining us. You can get a copy of his book, Freeway yes. Rick Ross's newest book. Go to freewayrickross.com. And up next, we'll hear from you and what the people say. Thank you, Rick Ross. Oh, the real, this is amazing. The real Rick Ross. No.